Hey everybody, it's Pastor Damon of Collective Community Church, Simple Folk Network. I got a question for you. Have you doubted God this year? In fact, have you doubted God more this year than what you can recall doubting him in years previous to this? Now, I already know that's not the type of question in which hands go up all around the room and people are just anxious to respond, but it's a reality nonetheless. It can be a convicting reality. It can be a tough reality. And for those of us that's been with God for some time, it can feel downright shameful to feel your faith in God beginning to slip. Your attitude could be, man, I used to be the person telling everybody about how good God is. And then now all of a sudden I find myself wondering whether he even cares or maybe even worse, whether he exists. The truth of the matter is pressure has a way of tempting us to doubt God. If I could provide you with any solace, it would be to remind you that it has happened to the best of us. And I mean that in the most literal sense. In Matthew chapter 11, verses one through six, we see the story of John the Baptist, right? And John the Baptist, Jesus said, there wasn't a prophet that was risen that was greater than John the Baptist. But here we have this great man of faith in a tough situation, and he started to question whether Jesus is who he said that he was. When Jesus finds out about it, he doesn't condemn John. He doesn't express to John about how badly his feelings are hurt because of his doubt. He simply reminds John of what the word said the signs would be when the Messiah showed up on the scene. In other words, Jesus was saying, was I wrong? Are not the things that I said would be present actually happening now? But John didn't see that because John was focused on himself. Like oftentimes, we're focused on ourselves. See, don't be so focused on the scene that you're in that you're willing to fast forward through the epic story that God is narrating. John was right in the very beginning, like you were right. Jesus is the Lamb of God that came to take away the sins of the world. And Jesus' encouragement to us is much like his encouragement to John the Baptist. Didn't my word tell you that all these things would happen? So we should be encouraged. If Jesus was 100% pinpoint accurate about today and he said it 2,000 years ago, then there's no way in the world he's going to be wrong about what he's spoken to us in recent times. This is Pastor Damon of Collective Community Church. Thank you for your time and I look forward to seeing you soon.